Australia's 150 million sheep are shorn all over once a year and Going up the neck now, the shearer works a very long day in the shearing shed. He starts at 7.30 in the morning and he finishes at 5.30 in the afternoon. We're being very careful with these blows up the sheep's neck now. Australia's 150 million sheep are shorn all over once a year. Six months after they're shorn all over, we have to bring them in and crutch them. That means we give them a haircut, cut the wool from around their eyes and cut the wool from around their bottoms as well. Laying the sheep down on its back now, we're going along the side of the sheep, the long blows, right from the tip of the sheep's tail, right around to the top of the sheep's head, from the breezer to the sneezer. This sheep hasn't been drugged or anything like that. It's sitting there quite calmly while the wool is being shorn from it. Straightening the sheep up now, we're going down the last side. The short blows now from the middle of the sheep back around to the front of the sheep. These are called the whipping blow side here. And up around the last of the front legs, being very careful not to cut this very tender skin around the leg area here. This one could even be a bit ticklish under the armpit. Continuing on now, down the last side with the short blows, moving quite freely here. Doug is wearing traditional shearing gear today, the blue shearer's singlet, the blue dungarees or dungas as we call them, and the shearer's boots. The last of the short blows now to finish off the shearing of this sheep. It's now possible to take a piece of this wool and convert it straight to knitting yarn with the spinning wheel here now. We take this yarn, ply it up, put two strands together and then we're ready to knit up a jumper or a sock or something like that. After the fleece has been shorn off the sheep, the picker upper or rouse about comes along picks the fleece up off the shearing board and takes it over and throws it onto the wool table. Well, that was certainly a first. The Lindhurst shearing team showing us how to shear a sheep. Well, what did you think? Uh, I, that's the best shearing act I've ever seen on television. It's also the only shearing <laughs> act I've ever seen on television. Uh, I thought it was really good what you did there. I, the hardest part would probably be putting the aftershave lotion on the sheep after. But uh, it was quite interesting, and I gave you 34. 34 you. from Tim. <laughs> well, Bernard, have you... Uh, well, just check the scores uh, while Bernard is making up his mind. Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> Woven in Switzerland, sewn in France and brought back at vast expense. And pinched a lot, off, off a truck. <laughs> <laughs> a lot went to Bob and Hazel. It'd be lovely to be able to say it'd be stunning without the sheep, as we've said about people with guitars. It'd be lovely to be able to say it'd be lovely without this poor old thing here doing a wool weaving. But the whole ingredient is so good for Australians to see, and there are a great many people here, little confined slum dwellers from Melbourne Heights and Flats, who oh. never have seen it, you see? Oh. Well, they... Oh. <laughs> They must be short of activity spending their day sitting in a television studio on a day like this. Well, it's very good for Australians to see that we actually do this kind of thing, especially when we're so confused about who we are and what we can do. Lovely chaps, good, broad Australians. You obviously are twinnies, are you? Uh, uh, brothers? No, 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 no. You just grew alike. <laughs> 30, gentlemen, thank you. 30 from Bernard, which is a total of... 64 for act number seven, which means that the winner today with the grand final <laughs> bring the sheep to with Sydney. The, the score of 78. <laughs> the <French Grundy laughs> <a hemorrhage. laughs> a big